Thanks for stopping by to check out this video. So if you have a couple minutes, you can get a CMS, a very powerful one, up and running. It's the strappy.io CMS that includes a Postgres database to hold all of the content. There's lots of admin tools, content management tools. It all runs on the railway cloud services, which I've been talking about in my recent videos. It also has a built-in media manager that can host your media in the cloud and persist it there. And it's free because it's all open source. So definitely check this out if you've never seen Strapi before or if you're interested in building a content management system. And there's lots of huge corporations using it as well as startups and everybody in between. So let's jump into the video. To kick off this video, I just wanted to show the Strapi.io homepage. If you've never heard of the Strapi content management system, you should go to their website if you're looking in to a content management system. In this video, we're gonna spend about two minutes, some of it fast forwarded or cut out, but about two minutes to get it stood up and running on the railway framework as we've done in some of my recent videos. If you want a more detailed overview or review of railway, check out my first video on this subject. And so Strappy is just a really great product. I've used it in some applications in the past and there is a free version, it's open source, but they also have hosted versions if that's what you need. And there's so much that it can do. I won't go through it in this video. However, again, visit their website and check it out. It is really awesome. I'm back on the railway homepage or dashboard. I clicked on new project and we want to deploy a template Let's go there. Let's type in Strappy. And then we can see Strappy there. So if I select that, then you come to this page and there are a bunch that they want you to take a look at here. You don't actually have to configure anything. It will deploy, but they do want you to click on the configure buttons. Once you do that, you'll be able to click the deploy button and get into the deployment, which we'll take a look at next. Here I'm deploying another application to the railway. It is the Strapi content management system, which includes a Postgres database. So I will go ahead and let this continue and we'll come back and check it in a little bit. All right, it's still going. So we'll come back again shortly. So there now it says it's finished. So let's go ahead and check it out and see if it's up and running. Now I've talked about Strapi in some of my other videos. It is a really great content management system that's been around for a while and has great support and has got a lot of funding and has grown to be a pretty big company. So we'll take a look at their website also. Here I clicked on the Postgres and it says a few seconds ago via the Docker image and we can see here it says it's active and it was pulled down from Docker Hub. required variables so they were pre-set up here is a list of all the variables that the template set up there won't be metrics much yet since I haven't used it and the settings there's a lot of settings here about the environment for Postgres I scrolled down in the settings. Here we can see the source image, Postgres 14 Alpine, the mounted volume. The Postgres data volume is mounted to this service. That's the service that we just created. And the deploy command. I've clicked into the Strapi service and we can see here it was deployed five minutes ago from GitHub, so let's go check my GitHub account and make sure it's there. I'm sure it is. The Strapi was created. I can click into that. And there actually is quite a lot of code that's part of this. The Strapi example, it deploys a self-hosted version of Strapi and it uses a Postgres 
database to store the data. I also did not add the Cloudinary related environment variables, so my media will not be persisted between deploys. I didn't want to take the time in this video, but I have used Cloudinary before with Strapi instances, and it was free at that point. I think it still is. They have a free plan. And then they have instructions here on developing locally, some of the things you'll have to do. And then importantly, after your app is deployed, you have to visit the slash admin endpoint to create your first admin user. And then they point out that Railway's file system is ephemeral, which is why any changes to the file system are not persisted between deploys. That's why the template uses Cloudinary for media storage. So, of course, in a normal production situation, you would need to use Cloudinary. And I may go ahead and set up a second version of this application and go ahead and connect in the Cloudinary to show that actually working. And as a matter of fact, I did try and set this up one time before this for this video and it did not work. I got an error message, so I just thought I'd start over. The second time, which is this video, I went ahead and used a private repository. Whether that had anything to do with it or not, I'm not sure. But as we can see, it did create them. So let's go ahead and try and get logged in now. Here is the URL to click on. So when we click on this, we should just see a basic page that says it's up and running. So there we go. It says production. The server is running successfully. Let's go ahead and go to the admin page. I zoomed in just a little bit before we go ahead and try that. Here is the admin page. And the first time you go there, it wants you to create a basic account, which will be an admin account. So I'll go ahead and fill this out and then I will click let's start. And then we'll take a brief look at the Strapi content management system as deployed on Railway. I went ahead and filled in that information and now we are at the Strapi dashboard. If you've never seen this before, I will click through a couple of screens, but I do have several other videos where I talk about Strapi. So if you're interested in learning more details, you can go there and watch those more detailed videos. So we have a content manager. We have the content type builder. We have a media library. There's plugins, marketplace and settings. And I use Joe Smith as my name. So let's go ahead and look at a couple things here. Uh, we can create a content type and there's all of these plugins and marketplace that you can use for many, many things within your content management system. I've clicked on the settings page and we can see here the overview. It shows we're on the most recent or very recent version of Strapi 4.15.4 and which node version it is. And we can see we're on the community edition. And then you can see their pricing plans if you want to. You can put in your menu logo, your off logo. We don't have any API tokens. It has internationalization built in. The media library, if you want to upload all your images and have it be controlled here through the media library, you can do that. I've used it before in production environments and it works great. You have transfer tokens and web hooks. Then you have roles. So you can control your roles and users through this admin panel. Again, I didn't have to write any code and I have a fully working and really awesome, very scalable and fast content management system built with a few mouse clicks in about two minutes. So there is my username with a fake email and we can see I'm um, the super admin. It also has the ability to send emails. So you can set that up. I have used the email delivery inside of Strapi before, and then you can get into the roles and configure those. Here you can see all of the different permissions for content type builder, email, and other permissions. 
we have all these providers that you can link in right now it's just set up for an email and that's how i'm logged in right now you can also create really nice email templates and i've set those up before which are very handy when you're building your content management system and there are some advanced settings what do you want the default role to be for authenticated users authenticated or public should you have one account per email address enable signups yes or no if you don't want to enable signups you can just set that to false and save it if you have a password reset page you can have a link to that do you want to enable email confirmation so it will send out an email confirmation to the user before they're confirmed for the system let's take a quick look at the marketplace and there are supposed to be images here I've dealt with that before you have to configure or change some settings in one of your configuration files I'm not going to worry about that for this video but there are lots of different plugins here we can see there's 165 so it's grown quite a bit and there are so many different plugins you can use for what you need looks like we even have one for chat GPT and many other things let's go to the plugins page these are the installed plugins right now which we already looked at so there you go that's a really high level overview of this content management system we can go to the content manager and right now all we have is users so if you wanted to create a new entry you can click on it right there so you actually have a built-in data entry system here and if you want to go to the content type builder to create new content types for your content management system you do that right in here well I don't want to make this video too long since it wasn't meant to be an extensive tutorial on strappy as I mentioned I have some other videos about that if you're interested they will be slightly older however they're still pretty relevant not a ton of things have changed in their user interface so we'll go back to our railway page again you saw what I had to do which was not very much at all and now it is using this Postgres database and it set it all up without really having to do anything it had those smart defaults which is great again save so much time because normally you have to set all that up manually as you create these type of systems well I hope you found this video helpful and interesting I really like strappy I've used it as I said several different times in the past and having it deployed on the railway system makes it super fast and super easy there was just a couple other things I meant to mention if I hit refresh on this page you can watch for a message I'm in the create new collection type so I'll hit refresh and you'll see a message that pops up it's in production mode and editing it is not allowed editing content types is disabled so basically what you do is on your local machine on your local development computer you would set up your collection types and then when you're ready you commit your code and it pushes it out to the production site like what we're looking at here and there's also some videos that talk about this if you click on the question mark down here there's a video about building a content architecture adding and managing content and managing media documentation a cheat sheet and get help that's the discord channel that's on strappy and their documentation is really great so I just wanted to point out those two things also if you like this channel please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content